Welcome back to a beautiful morning here in my own kitchen at Stadio Valley. I am Piro and I am not really French, so all I am doing is very insensitive. But that is better than t using my own over exaggerated German accent, is it not? Yes? So, honey. Yes. Do? Oh no, it's Juna that was from Sweden. Where's June from? Don't remember. Doesn't matter. I heard from Willy that you've really done a lot for the island of the coast. You've even fixed up the old resort so that people can go visit the beach, huh? Yeah, they go. <sighs> you really are so impressive, you know that? I can't believe how much you've done for this town. This valley all and this town. Hello. I can't believe how much you've done for this town, this valley. All by yourself. Not by myself? Have you looked at the bedroom? <sighs> I want to go and see your hard work for myself. No, oh, but I just hate hot weather so much. Well, ever thought of maybe getting rid of the turtleneck, the leather jacket, or in this case, the leather coat? And just going in your speedo. But you know what? As long as you're there with me, I'm sure I'll be lovely and cool. I'll have a wonderful time. Oh, uh -huh. so why don't we make a date out of it? We can even spread the night and uh, spend the night there at the vacation house you got for us. So how about it? We meet at village shop tomorrow, weather permitting, of course, and we go after everyone else has left. Perfect, it's a date. Now, I have to figure out where to buy those hydrophobic clothes people wear near water. Hydrophobic clothes. Wait, what are they called? Um, life vest? Rubber rings? chicky wings oh hey hey oh hey sweetheart sweetie 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 petiti weedy beedy mini mini chini mini witty diddy are you all right nothing i was just gonna ask if i be possibly inclined to you know not overly i don't want to actually push you into it all but it's just um you have time tomorrow morning no, it's just in the evening, you know, I'm... Uh, nothing? I, I, have, I have time tomorrow. Yes, yes, ah. Free. Oh, so you are free tomorrow morning, huh? <laughs> Why? Hmm. You like to hear it. <laughs> Surprise, sweetie. Don't worry. It'll be fabulous. Oh, I get new clothes. Trust me on this. Golden overalls. Solid gold thread. But so thinly waved with a thread count of 3000 that. Yeah, and nah, I did. Rumble it. Move it twice and the gold threads would break. Oh, you're so adorable, my sweetheart. Sweetie, peedy, meedy, weedy, leedy. I got my smooch in the morning. It's gonna be fabulous fun. So yeah, this is now the place where I let you in that those events weren't morning events. There were evening events. And so now the day has passed. And good morning, sweetie, petiti, weeny, meeny, sheeny, weeny. Hallelujah, grand bikini. Are you ready to go? Where? That's a surprise, Stoopy. Stoopy Whoopy. Just bring some extra clothes. That's all you're gonna need. Um. 
You gonna rip him off my back? Ta-da! We're gonna make a love painting. I paint you, you paint me, and then we throw ourselves against the sheet. Is that what I think it is? Mm, we're going painting, sweetie. Ah. Oh. Well, actually more like splashing some dye around. <laughs> I recently had an idea to create a new design out of a colorful fabric. Ah, but I just couldn't find the right design, if you know what I mean. I want a colorful spring negligible. And I thought, what better way than to dye it with the color of our love? Better yet, I make it with my sweetheart's love. Alright, if you think so. So I brought a bunch of different colors for us. I figured we could splash these colors around and see what sticks, you know? <laughs> oh, it's gonna be absolutely lovely. I knew you'd go along with the idea. Alright, close your eyes, take the green color and start smearing over the face. Hmm. It's one of the things I love about you. You're so spontaneous. While well, I get an orange face. Let me start. A little bit of red. Like my face when we kiss. Your turn. Hmm, orange. Oh, the color of excitement. Like how my life is every day with you. You know, Ilsa would enjoy that. Kind of quite poetic in color composition. And now the next color. Of course, it's gonna be yellow, cheerful and vibrant. Like my smile when I ever see you. Oh, green! Like the beautiful crops you grow on the farm. Ah, in my mind, at bed sometimes. <laughs> Next would be blue, like I would be without you. A bit of indigo, like how it rhymes with I love you so. Oh, that's nice. And for the final color, how about we do this one together? A touch of purple color I'd associate with how I feel when I'm in your arms. You're squeezing me too tight. No, not the, I know you're strong, but please, I breathe. I mean, comfortable, calm, and most of all, fabulously grateful for being able to breathe again. Thank you, honey. Thank you for releasing me. Oh, I have someone who loves me so, cares for me, and understands me. You're my inspiration to everything, sweetheart. Oh, I love you so much. <laughs> oh, what a wonderful date with the wife. Ooh, dark and dreary. Oh, it's a special house with, with Jasper's room. Uh, Hey ho! Come on in! Mm. Mm. <sighs> my love! Someone's here! Oh, where are my glasses? Where's your battle axe? Smite them! Hmm? Oh, they're gone, Piro! Where are you? Uh, I'm, I'm awake! <laughs> <sighs> What's going on? Yo, all my notes, all my notes, all my reach on the dwarf, they're, they've been taken. Um, who would do such a thing? Uh, a dwarf? Do, do you really think so? Perhaps they don't want to be found out. 
Maybe this is a sign it's time I gave up on this fruitless endeavor. Ah, oh, you have given me so much. Oh, what does it matter where my theories holds true? Come on, love. Let's get back. <laughs> right there with you, buddy. Hey, Stubby. I'm gonna visit you tomorrow. To Danielle. The court may have ruled in your favor, but don't think that for a moment it absolves you of what you did or that we forgive you. We all know that you're a lying monster. Adopting a new identity by calling yourself Sydney just proves the fact. Whether it was premeditated or sheer idiotic negligence matters little to me, your father and most of all your brother. This is the last you'll ever hear from us. Pelican Town is a nice place. I remember passing through it on our way north to give you and... Or Devon, a better life. <sighs> it's too bad you ruined that plan. Try not to ruin any more lives while you're there. Eliza Renault. Dearest Piero, I want you to meet somebody, some people who are very dear to me. We've planned something really special. Ooh, we got a late night performance of the mermaids. Mm, um, you meet me at the Fall caves at Umumi later tonight. 8 p.m. shot. Got that? I want to show you something. Bianca. Ooh, and Pam's juice. Please count. Yep, it did. All right, so the good stuff is just potato juice. Maybe she has a still and then is there. Oh, she's looking at the bees. All right, don't disturb her. <laughs> hey, honey, I know I'm early, but you know, just wanted to say good morning to you. Well, and she got a pep in her step. Oh, I can't contain myself. I have to follow. Hmm. Uh. I. All right. No? You were so energetic and now you're lying in bed? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. I tried not talking for a day while trying to make you come to me. And I failed. Eh? Um. Oh. Okay. And I just get grabbed and roped into the seats. Mm, just kiss me while I just shut up. Oh. Alright, um strange things happening. <laughs> it's just <coughs> uh. Ooh, well now he's no longer living here. I think his roof might be collapsing. Yeah, everything looks fine. Maybe it's Maybe it's just a you no know, texture error and nobody there's seaweed lying on this roof. Hey Sydney, I got you know, got a letter. You're right. Actually, first time I've been in here. I see a little hovel on the beach. Oh, hi Peter. What's up? Uh you know about a letter I got? A letter for me? Oh, here, let me see. Oh. Oh. I... Oh. Hmm. You didn't happen to read any of that, did you? Of course not. I saw your name and brought it here right away. I... 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 Did. I read it until, you know, I saw your name inside of it. Oh, so sorry. Oh, well, thank you for being honest. Can't be too angry. It's not like you went snooping through my mail, Piro. Not yet, honey. No, uh... Are you okay? Just, you know... Oh, yeah. Thanks for asking. 
Well, that's an awkward day today. Oh, I'm sorry, Peter. I'd rather just be alone for a while. If it's all the same to you. Well, right on. Cheerio. And all that. Hey, Nikolai. Oh, packing up and leaving. I figured since we are married, I might as well sell this old cabin. I, uh, I wasn't sure at first. I wasn't sure if you would leave me. So I was hanging on to it just in case you stopped loving me. Oh. Well, I think I'm finally ready to let this place go. I am feeling so paranoid. I'm gonna go to the library pretty soon and post for a sale ad as well. I won't get a whole lot of money for it, but that's not the point of selling. Well, I'm happy you feel safe with me now. But what about Boxy? I mean, whoever buys it, can, can Boxy still go into the sanctuary? And by the way, do uh, you think we could, you know, uh, ask Robin to rebuild it at the farm? Yeah, sorry for not trusting you at first. But I'm glad I do now. Relationships are all about trust anyway. The Passiva. Well, let's get going. I have an ad to post. Yeah, I can't really remember, uh, but I don't think it was that much of a mess, so... Looks like Boxy got in already and... The only thing she didn't eat was the fishes in the tank. Maybe they're all plastic. Hey, dwarven buddy. Um... Are those Jasper's notes? What are you reading, buddy? Come on, come clean. Mm. I... I heard your mate had stolen secrets from my people. <sighs> but these are just scratch marks on paper. Oh, they don't tell me anything. Well, because they're written in human. Hmm... You wonder what I wish to know. I was born deep in the Cascade Mountain. Raised on tales of a homeland filled with stars. And monsters from the deep. The fracturing for everything apart. I came here alone. I hope to find my people. My heritage but only found monsters and loneliness. And your friend, he came poking around. I heard he wanted to study me. I was afraid. Huh? Well, but, you know, why then did you trust me and not him? I've been alone too long. Two monsters aren't good company. You seem different. I was curious. The mother spoke highly of you, so I took a risk. The mother? I'm glad I did. Your mate. He not like the others. See what other cannot. Um, yes. Like you. Friends is not just your skill as a miner. That proves you're worthy of trust. You have done much for this town. Oh, uh, yeah. What? Just because I live in a hole in the ground doesn't mean I don't hear and see things. The stones sing, and the earth, well, she thinks highly of you. Your mate seems settled, content, despite his ailment. So you want to meet him, buddy? Perhaps he's trustworthy. 
I'll ponder this. Please leave now. Much to think. All right. But if you want a spaceship, um, well, you're probably gonna ask Maru instead of Jasper. Hey, Matthew. I can't believe we're doing this. Real place to call home, not OSHA violation cobbled together with Driftwood. Um, Oceania Safety and Health Administration? No. Not to mention, Robus will have a safe spot to hang out too. And anyone else who needs the refuge. Oh, the change of the map has somehow ruined my shortcut. Oh, well, could be worse. Hey, Piro. So, there's something I should tell you. You're leaving me for Katerina. Oh, no, nothing like that. I put her ladyship's videos up on YouTube. Thought they might get a bit of a laugh, but... You know, be good rep for her since... Well, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, damn thing's gone viral. People all over the world love that crazy rooster. Uh, and Kaz asks me to meet her here tonight. Figure I'm either gonna be fired or promoted. And I'm really not sure what would be worse. Fired? Yeah, me too. Be a shame. Don't tell her this. But I kind of like hanging out with her now. And, you know, Ebbe is a pretty nice bird. Charlie loves him. Stubborn as all hell, but, you know. Hey, he is a rooster. A little bit cocky for my taste, her her. <laughs> Shane! Well, looks like it's time to face the music. Wish me luck, buddy. You do you. Hmm. I don't know whether to kick you or kiss you. Um. Neither is okay, thanks. No, so I'm guessing you're not completely pissed with me. Not yet. Oh, but I have every right to be. Putting my ridiculousness up everywhere for all the world to see. Isn't that kind of what you do? Oh, and people loved it. Readership is already up. Sure. To see you haven't renewed their subscription, dread them. Well, but the phone's been ringing off the hook with news agent and newspapers contacting me. You know, and I've been asking to interview several vlogs, whatever that's about. So, all in all, I believe I owe you a drink. Does that mean you no longer need uh, your buddy De Lexi? Oh, no, no, I'm fine, really. Oh, nonsense, it's the least I can do. Hey, Gus, come a right up. One fruit juice for Shane, because he is sober now. So, what's your poison? Meat? Beer? Um... I don't drink. Can't drink, okay? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Well, uh. Sorry, I mean. Jojo Cola? In jail? Oh, well, Cola's fine, thanks. Oh. Guess what? Jojo Cola? Cola? Ooh. Oh, just thinking about it. Uh, but, in all honesty, thanks, Jane. Never would have thought a grumpy cameraman and a demented rooster would be the key to popularity. Ah, but what do I know? The world really has gone mad. Yeah, yeah, and you are one of the lucky ones. You're almost as lucky as Piro behind there. Hey, Piro, don't think I can see you eavesdropping over there. Huh? Nah, I'm deep in my mug. Get over here and join our toast. The demented roosters and grumpy cameraman. 
Hello. Oh. Hey, Raffy. How you doing? Oh, hi, Piro. And I'm waiting for you. Come on, let's have some drinks, shall we, love? Um, I mean, I just had one, but... Oh, what could a few more? Can't hurt as long as I'm only doing standing up, right? Hey, uh, Hiro? Seem kind of drunk. Come on, here, I carry you to your farm, okay? Oh, uh, you... You little drunken rascal. Mm. Did you... Did we... Hey, was he a trick? Was your name? Raphael! You doing okay? I'm always here for you, okay? I'll take care of you, don't worry. I'll always be here for you. Like how you were for me. Oh. You know. I love you. There I said it. I'd sound in the open. I don't just call you love. I actually do it as well. I love you. La 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 love you. Ain't no wait. You're not Isla. Oh good, you are here. I got a bit of a surprise for you, actually. Yeah, I kind of thought I'd meet someone else. Happy to see you, love. <laughs> hmm. You'll have to find out for yourself. So come on, let's get going. Uh, where? Oh, yeah, that's right. June goes into the... Well, not really into the sun. So, what do you think? Are you surprised? Ha, I know I am. I've never seen someone sweat as much as June. Is it moving all that furniture out here from the back? <laughs> oh. Yeah, thanks, Pika. Actually, it's what's carrying the grass that made it. Ugh. Don't get me started. Why is there an ironwood table? I promise I took a shower after. Anyway, you've done so much for our family, the, the community, and really well, everybody. So I know this is nothing compared to all the work you've done to make everyone's life better. But I had hoped that I can bring you the happiness too. Even just for one night. Oh, one night is more than enough. And you make me. Just here to cook or to join us? Oh, come on, don't say that. I haven't done that much. Just help out when I can. And oh, honey, you make me heavy every single day. I didn't know you'd say that, but somehow. Uh, it makes it even more meaningful. Give me a sugar. Hey, Piro, before we go sit down, I want to say I love you so much. My life finally feels complete with you in it. And I wouldn't trade it for the world. That's all. Well, not really. There's a million other things I want to say to you right now, but I save that for later tonight. Because right now, dinner awaits. Ooh. What are we having, Chef Pika? Now, care to show me that little island home you mentioned? I expect nothing less than a grand tour. Well, there's a kitchen and a bed. You took the cure. 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 Oh, hey, sweetie, I came. <laughs> Oh, you're talking again. Ah, oh, there you are. You know, I've been waiting. Now, come on, stand beside me. Oh, getting scolded already. Yes, Miss Bianca. Oh, don't call me that. Hmm? Right, goes. Do you know why this place is called... The Falls Cave. Um, because why not? Mortis! <laughs> but seriously, though, 
because the waterfalls here seems to be endless, while the lake here never seems to be fully or never seems to be full or overflowing. So it has an underground passage and flows out? Hmm. There seems to be magic in this cave and lake here. Oh? You want to jump in and turn us both into shadow people so we can live with the rest of the folk. Well, ever since that time where my magic went wild here in the place, you know? The time of my no more magic drama with mom? Well, this place and its magic seems to have been overflowing. It's, it's like it's responded to my feelings. I think if I feel extreme emotions again, something might happen here. So... You wanna have me tickle your tummy and all you're crazy with laughter? Like, you know... Something amazing could happen here, or like, whatever, all right, tummy tickling it is. I haven't shaved for the rest of the day, so it's gonna be real ticklish. Oh, you're really clueless, aren't you? Oh, come here, you. Oh! Bianca seems to be trembling with nerves as she kisses you. Hold her close. Put your hands on her cheek. Yeah, put a hand on her cheek and then draw her in, stroke her, and play a little bit with her earlobe. Hmm, she seems to have calmed down. Um, uh, <laughs> oh, that was nice, Piro. Real nice. <laughs> oh, nothing happened. I may not want magic in me anymore, but the only magic I would welcome... Having would be from you, Hiro. Well, I'm the love doctor. I got the magic stick or something. That was really cheesy, wasn't it? Oh, well, I didn't reply any better. Oh. Come on. Hiro, I love you. I love you too, Miss Bianca. Oh, stop the miss already. Whoa! Um... I was only kidding about this place reacting to my magic. I only said it to have you kiss me. Yeah, so much for just saying. Oh. Hey, it, that's Luna's old hovel. Where are we? Luna's place. This is Luna's house. Oh, we have opened another portal. So if we kiss any more, uh, the entire valley moves over here where there are no bandits? I mean, could be good, but what about the woodland creatures who got displaced? Ah, it really reacts to my feeling. Hero, from you! Oh, you must have been another factor, like, you know, how you opened a portal in the lake in the first place. So I'm the key master, or am I the portal lord? Oh, you're all the magic I need. I now have an easier way to come to town. Thank you, Piero, thank you. What do you mean, easier way? It's the, it's the same distance. From her house to the city, or from the lake to the city? And now she, you just want your own little head. I mean, what if Luna visits her house now and she just, you know, moses over her bridge and, oh, I gotta look after my plants. Or, I mean, it is my little hovel from time to time. I like to be here. And just, oh, I'm all wet and now I'm in the caverns again. Oh, well, Bianca went home afterwards and told everybody the good news. A whole new portal to Umuvi has opened. Oh, why? Oh! Hi, Diana! Hi, Piro! I'm human again! Ta-da! Well... I at least become one whenever I enter this cave. It seems the magic here has grown to like me. Like the magic and flora here too. 
I get receipts here sometimes. Oh, my clothes? Nah. I don't think I need clothes. <laughs> Magic clouds that cover my body never seems to fade. The fluffy thing never seems to leave me and, you know, I don't mind. I'm gonna start a new fashion trend, you'll see. But you are wearing clothes. Oh, whatever makes you happy, honey. So... Yeah, I'm not really sure it's a good thing now. Not that much. Hey, Juna, what you doing? Welcome to the weekend, Raz. My most boring companion. So what exciting awaits us this week? No, nothing you say. Well, I'm all a surprise. My heart can take this much spontaneity. Well, you could play with Pepe. Right, Pepe? Oh. That little rascal. He's all cross-country. Kind of like Miranda, but, you know, she's sporty and all that. She needs to be to get after. Oh, floaty Peppy now. Come on, catch him. Go, my cyanic. Oh, well, oh, well. I think there will be something happening once I get to the home. Guess we're not done yet. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Waiting rooms and area. Hey, Lance. Good evening, my love. See you too, stranger. I've been meaning to ask you a question. Oh, shoot. Where did you find your return scepter? It's a very... Powerful magic uh, It's a very powerful magic relic. I bought it for my friend Krobus. <laughs> you humor me. Bell. You're not joking, are you? Why would I? I mean, I think Krobus lives with us now. You befriended a shadow person in the sewer named Krobus. Who else knows about this? Uh, Ras, Matheo, um, Dwarf in the Mine. You? Remember? Well, I would very much like to meet this Krobus first thing in the morning. Well, he's more like a night kind of guy, but yeah, why not? And see the rest of you also in the morning because it seems like... Oh no, it's just loading the spouse rooms. It takes forever now. But we are close to having... Oh, the parade is going on. If I can smooch myself in between. Oh. Ah! We only need Bral, Bianca, Rafi and... Katerina to marry. Sydney is just, uh, she's always available for that sort of stuff. So should be Bianca and Rafi by now. I don't know if Katerina is yet available or if any more events need to happen to actually romance her. The rooster lady. Well, whatever that may be. Thank you all for watching. Hope you had a nice time. Stay safe and all that and bye-bye.